Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today, the price of the corporate papers goes up, but you can still get in if you act now. There was a link in the first comment and a promo code for you to get in because what we're going to talk about, and this is going to be part of the corporate papers, is how to build a business in a year, which is incredibly fast. I know you guys are being confronted each and every day with building a business in a few weeks or a few months and making all this money and quitting your job. And that's just not reality. The reality is not building a business in a year is super fast, super fast. So what we're going to talk about in building a business in a year, we're going to talk about our corporate structure. We're going to talk about the corporate credit, and then we're going to talk about how to scale the business. Now, what is scaling the business? Let me tell you, um, right now I have a car rental business and my goal is to get to 30 cars as fast as possible. I currently have 25, so I'm five cars away. I should be there September, October. Now why 30 cars? Essentially 30 cars should give me 1200 to 1500 bucks per day in car rental revenue. And th this is, there's, there's a certain methodology to the madness, right? So once I get to 1500 bucks a day, that's $4,500 per month. That enables me to get my commercial insurance. And more importantly, that will give me money to buy three cars a month. Because essentially I have a goal of 100 cars by next August. And, you know, scaling your business and setting up goals and setting up systems and this is the part that you guys don't want to hear. While you're building your business, while you're scaling your business, you cannot take any money out of the business. I know you're like, what? That's the whole reason for starting this business, man. So I can make some money. So I can be hanging out with Baby Bamboo and Big Booty Betty. All right, here's the reality. My intention on building this car rental business is to reinvest the revenue back in the business to grow the business. This is what Jeff Bezos did for many, many years. Do you understand that Amazon.com, you know, we as consumers, we didn't care. We go on Amazon, we order some stuff, we get our products. But in the investment community, Amazon.com was a joke. They were like, they haven't made a profit in 14 years. They keep investing all this money. Where's our returns? Where's our returns? Now look who's laughing now. So essentially, for the first year, you're not gonna be able to touch any money out of your business. I know that's like, what? I know, I know, I know, I know. But once again, this is something I'm doing. Like my intention is I have a metric. When I get to a certain number, that's when I will start taking money out the business, not before. And because let's say I get my 30 cars, and I make $45,000, $50,000 a month, right? This gives me the money to buy more cars. So let's say I have 30 cars by October, which is three months away. And October, I buy three cars. That gives me 33 cars. November, I buy three more cars. That gives me 36 cars. In December, I buy four cars. That gives me 40 cars. So at 40 cars, I should be doing about 50, 60,000 a month, right? All right. So as we go from January to August, I'm going to be in the ability because what's going to happen is each each car represents potential 1000 to $1,500 per month in revenue. So each car, just think of it that way. So what's going to happen is I'm gonna go from buying three cars to buying 10 cars per month. And that's gonna probably happen around May. So I'll have 40 cars in December and 43 in January, then 47 and then 50 in February. And then I'll start buying six cars and then seven cars and then eight cars. And once I hit that 10 car per month mark. That's when I want to start taking money out of the business because I've run my numbers and you know, I'm going to teach you how to do this 
with your business, whether it's cleaning, whether it's trucking, whether it's a delivery service, because you can do this with any business. It just depends upon your numbers. So we're going to be talking about that. And this is probably going to be a special segment, how to build your business within a year. Once again, a year is very, very fast. I know you guys like, I want it now. I need my money. I want to quit my job. Like, let me go ahead and identify what you're probably going to be going through this year. You're going to keep your job. Let's, let's, let's go. You're, you're not quitting your job no time soon. Let's just go ahead, get that out of our heads. You're not quitting your job. You're going to keep your job. You're going to start your business and you're going to become a manager. Now, what does this mean? When you become a manager, you're going to keep your job and you're going to hire people to run your business. The sooner that you get a hang of management, hiring, running, delegating, that's when you start creating a real business. Because I want you to think about it. So let's say you start in a cleaning company and let's say you have a job and you make $50,000 a year. You want to start a cleaning company. You work your job during the day. That means you cannot clean houses during the day. So what you've got to do is develop a development, a hiring protocol, a management protocol, a schedule protocol, and all this other stuff. So let's go ahead and say you start this cleaning business, you have your job, and you're literally running your cleaning business from your phone. You have your website where people can book on your website. Very, very important. And then during this year, you hire 10 people and your 10 people are cleaning five to 10 houses a day. And before you know it, Let's see, I don't have a calculator here, but before you know it, let's say my house cleaner, they charge me $120 every two weeks to come clean. So let's say you got a cleaning crew and they're doing 10 houses, 10 houses, and that is, let's say $1,500 a day in gross revenue because you have salaries and stuff like this. So let's say after all your bills are paid, you've paid your staff, you paid whatever bills you had, you elk out $400 a day while you're at your job. I want you to think about this. This is very, very powerful. You're at your job and while you're keeping your job, health benefits and stuff, because once you go to full-time self-employment business owner, health insurance is ridiculously expensive. Um, so you're keeping your job and let's say you're making 400 bucks a day while you're at your job. You're making 400 bucks a day. And this, this gets very powerful. So that's four times five. That's $800, that's $1,600, that's $2,000 a week. So you're making $8,000 per month while you're at your job. So this creates, and we're gonna talk about what to do with the money, how to segment yourself and how to transition from your job to your business and we're going to talk about all those numbers. Now, I just gave you the recipe for passive income. Were you listening? You're at your job. You're not cleaning houses. And you're making $2,000 a week. And all you're doing is managing stuff on your phone and using your website. You see where I'm going with this? So once you go ahead and get that, and then you scale it up, and you scale it up, and you scale it up, because once you leave your job and then you grow your, your crew to where you're doing like 20 houses a day, then you're making $4,000 a week. Then you're making $16,000 a month, which is $190,000 a year. And you're just managing it. Because once you see, once you, you know, we're going to really work on management. Because once you get the hang of management, it's going to make your life so much easier. And this is something that no one talks about on YouTube because they're all talking about creating these single person, no customers, no inventory, no staff, no office, none of the stuff that a real business is composed of. And essentially they're, they're selling you the fantasy of freedom and I'm selling you the reality of freedom. If you devote yourself two, three, four years, you can be free. You can be really free. Like, let me give you an example. Like right now, uh, I'm building out Mac Daddy Autos this way. I have to do a lot of stuff, but 
I'm essentially I'm creating um, notes and stuff. So when I hire people, what they need to do and how they need to do it. And by December, I will not be renting out cars to people. My, my employees will be renting out cars to people. And by December, I will be free of that business except for the acquisition intake of cars. I'm still going to have to do that because I'm not really trusting anyone to do that right now. But a year or two from now, there will be someone who will be doing that. You will have access to corporate money to buy cars and put them in the system. And essentially, two years from now, all I'm going to do is collect money. I'm not going to be uh, renting cars. I'm not going to be buying cars. I, I'm going to have staff to do that. People that I will train to do it the way that I want them to do it. And I will be, that will be passive income at that point. Because essentially, you know, everyone's talking about passive income, but no one knows how to really build it. Like, give me an example. I've had several periods where I have built passive income. 10 years in the storage auction business, right? And I wrote a book and I worked on my YouTube channel really hard for about two years. And then my third year, I made over a million dollars and I didn't, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I did like one video a week. I was working like four hour work week, literally the four hour work week. And essentially I had systems. I use YouTube, I use Amazon and essentially, you know, and then I, I did it again and again with hustlers, hustlers, Kung Fu. So essentially if you're willing to do the work now up front, you can get to that passive income or let's say it's semi-passive. Let's say you build a business and you have to go in once or twice a week to do some things. Does that sound terrible? Does that really sound bad? You're going into your job right now five days a week. So you go to your business to handle some paperwork, sign some documents, talk to people, and then you've got literally five days to do whatever you want to do. But you, the thing is, you got to build it. And you cannot be, you can't chase the dream and build a dream at the same time. There's a component of chasing and building, and then there's a component of realizing the dream. You cannot do both at the same time. And this is what everyone's trying to do, because people, like, during this period, there will not be no work-life balance. It will not be any work-life balance. Like, since I started this car rental business, I have been working seven days a week for the last two and a half months. There ain't no work-life balance. Uh, I have dinner with my girl and, you know, we, we have fun, but right now, and it's going to be like that probably for another three months, there ain't no work-life balance and I'm building out the corporate papers, I'm doing this, all this stuff. So I am not going to be taking the day off or taking the vacation for months, for months. But see, like, what did I just tell you? You got to build it first. In two years from now, I will be able to go around the world, fly to London, do all these kind of trips because I'm going to build a system and I'm going to teach you how to build a system, how to build processes so you can do what you want. I'll give you a good example. I had a friend that had a very profitable business and she wanted to sell it and I convinced her not to sell it. I convinced her to hire someone and she systemized her business. Then she opened up a restaurant. And once she systemized her business, that freed her up to do whatever she wants. Because essentially, like retirement, as someone who's been there, retirement without purpose sucks. If you're just sitting around the house, just chilling, uh, unless you're a lazy person, you know, that may work. But if you're an energetic person, you're a go-getter, um, that ain't going to work. So essentially, the goal is to build yourself a business that gives you the income and then once you build the systems and the processes, gives you the ability to use your time the way that you want to. But there is a cost to this. And depending upon your business model, depending on what you're doing, you're looking at one to four, maybe five years. Let's say you're 25 and you come across this information 
and from 25 to 30, you're building your business and that 30 is built. You got a million dollar business that literally pays you a million dollars a year and you can do what you want. And you're 30, you're still young. You're still young. Cause like, once again, all of this noise and garbage and trash that you're gonna build these businesses in weeks or a few months, and you're gonna quit your job and you're gonna have all this free time. It is absolute BS. It's just garbage. But what I'm telling you is a workable, viable business model. So hopefully you will join me in the corporate papers. Uh, the link in the code is below and the price goes up 12 o'clock tonight. So go ahead, get in and you want to get in, excuse me, before five because we have our live, our first live webinar and we're going to get into some deep corporate game today. So you want to get in around four because I'm going to be sending out messaging to everyone that's enrolled and we're going to have that live webinar tonight. So the link's below. I'll talk to you guys a little later today because we're, we're, we're building businesses, man. We're building businesses, real businesses that make real money. So that's all I got for you guys for now. I will see you in the next one.